I love pizza. And if for some crazy reason you don't love pizza, go watch another video, because this video is only for people who love pizza. <clears throat> okay, let me explain, guys. I have never eaten a slice of pizza in my life that I didn't love. So when I found out that people on Yelp rate pizza on a scale from one to five stars, I was a little confused. Like, isn't all pizza delicious and five stars? I'm pretty sure it is. So today we're gonna test this theory because I have located five different pizza places in my city at five different star ratings. So today I'm going to all five of these restaurants and reviewing them myself. The only thing is I told my wife Sylvia I'd be back here by three with pizza for her. So I guess I better get going to the first so this is the first pizza place we're gonna be going to. It's a uh, Pizzaiolo. So I found some one-star reviews for this place and they were pretty interesting. So I'm gonna read them to you now. There was a cigarette baked into my pizza. When I found it, disgusted, I told the staff who accused me of planting it there myself. I've never smoked in my life. Disgusting, don't eat here. One star. Well, I'm sorry, Jada. I don't know how a cigarette got baked into your pizza. I'm sure it's a one-time thing though. Uh, so we're gonna go inside this pizzaiolo and uh, see what it's like. Let's go. So the name of this pizza place is Pizzaiolo, which in Italian means pizza chef. So the pizza's gotta be good, right? When I walked inside, I noticed this guy was just like staring at the pizzas on display. I'm not really sure what he was doing. So at all five pizza places we're gonna be visiting today, we're gonna just be getting a plain cheese pizza. Just because plain cheese is Sylvia's favorite, and I'm gonna be bringing back all the leftovers for her. I paid for the pizza and I headed back outside to give it a try. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is inspect for any cigarettes. I don't see any. <laughs> so if you get a cigarette in your pizza, it's okay to leave a one star review, but it's probably not gonna happen again. So the most important part when judging a pizza, obviously, is the taste. It's pretty good. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave a review of this place myself. The pizza was delicious. There's no cigarettes in my pizza. I loved it. Five stars. <laughs> Let's head to the next pizza place, guys. So I hopped on my bike and made my way to the next pizza place. So this is the two-star pizza place we're gonna be going to. It's called Pizza Nova. So the reviews for this place were pretty amazing. I'm gonna go over them with you now. Random guy walked in off the street, went behind the counter to food preparation area and started eating different items, some falling out of his mouth onto the counter. He then proceeded to make a pizza, put it in the oven and walk back outside. Two stars. <laughs> I'm not sure why you gave it two stars, Leonard. I think it deserves a one. <laughs> This place had tiny ants on the counter near the window. These things happen, but it was the lack of surprise the employee demonstrated when I told her. Like, oh, those again? Two stars. <laughs> so we're gonna go check out this pizza place and see how it is. <laughs> Let's go. So I walked across a rainbow crosswalk and headed inside to the two-star Pizza Nova. So I looked inside the kitchen to see if there's any random guy off the street making the pizzas today, but I didn't see anybody. So far, so good. I ordered another slice of cheese pizza, and I went to sit down. So, I don't see any ants. <laughs> so the most important thing when eating pizza, again, is how it tastes. So let's, let's, let's try this pizza. I'm pretty sure pizza is the most perfect food ever made. Like and subscribe if you agree. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my review of this place. Here it is. Pizza was delicious. No ants on the counter. What more can you ask for? <laughs> Five stars. Okay guys, let's, let's head to the next place. After I packed up the leftovers to bring home to Sylvia, I threw out my paper plate and got on my bike to the next location. It was almost 12.30 now, so I only had two and a half hours before I had to be home. So I made my way to the next pizza place. So this is our three-star restaurant we're gonna be going to. It's called King Slice. I love the logo. It's just, a, it's a pizza with a smiley face and a crown. Uh, I love this review. This is from Tom Z. One of the best two and a half to three-star pizzas in the city. The dough airiness was nothing memorable, nor was the flavor. Overall, decently good pizza for pies in the area. Three stars. So I'm not really sure if Tom likes this place or not. He says one of the best two and a half to three star pizzas in the city. Like, what does that, what does that mean? He's been to a lot of like mediocre pizza places and he thinks this is the best. Let's go check out the King Slice. I headed inside the King Slice and ordered another cheese pizza. And then something unexpected happened. I have been to 
many pizza places in my life. I've never seen garlic oil on pizza. This is the best looking pizza I have ever seen, ever. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. Let's, let's give it a try. This pizza is so good. <laughs> Here's my review of the place. Never in my life have I been offered garlic oil on my pizza at any pizza establishment ever. This is the greatest invention since anything. Five stars. <laughs> Let's go to the next place, guys. I went outside, hopped on my bike, and headed to the four-star pizza place. So this is our next pizza place we're going to be going to. It's called Cora's Pizza. Uh, this place is rated four stars online. I'm going to give you a little history of what happened here. There was a pizza war. There was another pizza place that used to be here called CEO Pizza. And there was Cora's Pizza right next to each other. Unfortunately, only one could be victorious. And uh, Cora's is the only one still in business. CEO has been closed down. I'm gonna give you some of the reviews of Cora's. I used to live around there. In my honest opinion, CEO edges out Cora's. The margarita just tastes a bit more authentic to me. Four stars. So Channing F thinks that CEO is better, but it's no longer there. <laughs> And I found this review. Opens late. Always hot pizza. Generous amounts. Mm -mm. Four stars. Anyway, let's go check out Cora's and see how the pizza is. So I crossed the street and walked by the closed CEO pizza place and I headed inside Cora's. So I ordered another slice of cheese pizza and it was about to leave. But I decided to ask the pizza maker what happened to CEO pizza. Hey, whatever happened to the CEO pizza? Uh, we merged. We merged? Yeah. Oh, so you're all together now? Huh? Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. So apparently, I didn't do enough research. Chorus Pizza didn't beat out CEO Pizza. They merged together. So they are one pizza place. This is interesting. It's not really important because the only thing that's important is how good the pizza is. I love it. <laughs> Here's my review. CEO Pizza, Chorus Pizza, who cares? Pizza's delicious. <laughs> Five stars. Okay, I gotta hurry up because I gotta go to the last pizza place and I gotta bring all this pizza home. Let's go. Man, I love pizza. <laughs> so I got on my bike and headed to the last pizza place. The time was 2.07, so I only had 53 minutes before I had to be home. Uh, so this is our next pizza place we're gonna be going to. Pizzeria de Mario. <laughs> it's the greatest. It's the, okay. Uh, yeah, this place looks interesting. I'll read you a couple of the reviews from this place. This is this is quite possibly one of my favorite reviews I've ever seen for anything. I would drive through a pack of cute doddering grandmothers for a slice of this pizza. <laughs> so glad we found this place. Open late, incredible quality and family business. God bless Italy. Five stars. So George M, how many grandmothers would you drive over? <laughs> So let's go check out Pizzeria de Mario, guys. So the first thing you notice when you walk in is the overwhelming smell of fresh pizza. They had a painting of Super Mario on the wall and a friendly lady behind the counter. Uh, can I just get a slice of cheese? Uh, I'll have it for here. And I tried to make small talk with the lady, but it didn't go so well. Yeah, I was reading some of the reviews online for this place. They're really good. Sorry? The reviews online on like Yelp. Yeah, they're really good. I took my slice to the front counter and marveled at my pizza before sitting down. So this place has Super Mario. It's gotta be good. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would run over grandmothers for this pizza, but it's really good. <laughs> Here's my review. Pizzeria de Mario. What can I say? Delicious. Five stars. Okay, guys. I gotta bring these pizzas home. Let's go. Bye, thank you. Thank you, bye. This is the best pizza I've had all day. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. I checked the time before hopping on my bike, and I had 29 minutes before I had to be home, which was plenty of time to be back by three. Just remember, guys, it doesn't matter if the pizza you're eating is one star or five stars. What's important is the people you get to eat pizza with. <laughs>